So, hello and welcome to Kerala Gram Market, our daily program on Nifty Bank Nifty and UZNR. In this program, what we do is we look at Nifty charts, we look at Bank Nifty charts, we look at UZNR charts, we look at option chain, we look at what else do we look at? We look at FII, DIA data, and finally we try to form an informed opinion on what the market is most likely to do tomorrow. Yesterday, we had talked about uh, the probability of a reversal in Nifty. We said that Nifty has 16,200 as a resistance level. The hourly moving averages are below uh, the current level and there could be a bounce but then eventually it is going to be really really difficult to break 16200. Bank Nifty was more clear it had uh, given us a bearish harami. So yesterday our verdict was <coughs> it's a good idea to sell uh, calls. It is a de There's a definite resistance at 16200. There's a weak support at 16000 and uh, the play to do for today was definitely selling calls. The good news is we did get an uh, entry also because the market opened up today. So I think, uh, and yesterday, right, there was very suspicious activity from the FIA, right, because what was that put unwind from uh, uh, FIA yesterday? So I think Parimal had pointed that out also. It was There was a lot of uh, short covering of puts from FIAs. Bhavesh, Akash is saying dollar at 80.36. When did that happen? No, no, it's not. I think it's a future he's talking about. Uh, but anyway, so sorry, I, that was so crazy that I had to look at dollar right away. So, so, so the good news was um, we get got a good entry. We I probably hopefully we shorted and we have something now. What next is the question? So if you look at Nifty's chart today, right? There is something very unmistakable about today. This is a bearish engulfing, right? I mean, not like a very good bearish engulfing because ideally it should have been a little higher. <coughs> the open. But it also broke the 50 DMA. So broke 50 DMA and bearish engulfing is huge. Now the catch is, uh, where is the support? So we could say that there's a support somewhere around here, which is say around. So there's no exact point, right? Ki if somebody says ki 15,907.60 pay support, hey bro, that is like, <laughs> it doesn't happen that way, right? So there's a support somewhere around 15,900. We'll get to see what exactly that is looking at price action. But it is somewhere around here. This was where Nifty was struggling to break and eventually did break out. So now everything is about, well, will this level hold or break, right? So if tomorrow Nifty goes below this level, let's say it goes to 15850 or something, then everything is back. This was a, you know, this was not even real. And we can see Nifty going to 15200 or something, right? If it, if it goes below this line, there's a very high chance that we'll see Nifty retracing. <clears throat> if it holds this line, it can go to eventually 16200 and maybe it can go to up, right? But we have to really wait and see what is the price action going to be somewhere around this level. <clears throat> this is critical, right? So let's write that down. Bearish engulfing is on daily candle. I'll just write on daily candle. Nifty is below 50 DMA, 15,850, uh, 15, is the support. A close below could bring further downfall. Now let's look at option chain. <clears throat> so by the way, in case you haven't noticed, I'm doing some peddling. <laughs> Sorry, promotion. <clears throat> if you're wondering what happened after today's, you know, morning's uh, uh, inflation data or something, let's say it was released at around 10.20, right? <clears throat> or 10.30. So I don't know when it was released. Let's say, let's say 20, 10.20. So if you want to know what happened after 10.20, and uh, till 7.30 p.m. So 7.30 is because there's a last tick from NSE to update FIA data at around 7.30 to <coughs> do it after settlement. So if you look at this data, right, after 10.20, it is massive. Everybody ran away from their uh, puts. 16,000 puts, look at that, right? 16,000, so if you look at this data since the morning, it gives you one picture, right? So if you look at it from 9.15, it is not that bad. This looks like a very okay, okay, option chain right there is healthy call addition put out addition order but look at what happened after the inflation data i think i'm doing it right fairly new feature sometimes the the boys in engineering release so features features so fast i can't keep up with what are they are doing <coughs> but let's see <coughs> after 10 20 uh, massive amount of put unwinding and call addition so something happened after the uh, inflation uh, data coming in the morning so in india had some inflation data coming right so or was it uh, i think india had some data coming or i mean something happened after 10 30 after 10 30 we could see that so i don't follow news because i think everything is in the charts i try to stay clear of news 
but sometimes news gets to you because everybody talks about news but if you look at this data <clears throat> it's pretty clear that people were unwinding puts uh, today completely so so that is number one so this is the overall picture of today july 13th massive call writing very less uh, put writing in fact put unwinding at 16,000. and if you look at the overall option chain this is super heavy on calls and hardly anything at puts right 16,000. if it does not hold the next stop is probably 15,800. but the oi in 15,800 is not like the ois <coughs> here on the top right so this is massive this is not so massive PCR is around 0 0.6 that probably means that we are looking at a very bearish market so let's write all that down massive call selling on Wednesday 16,000 is no longer a support will act as a resistance because once a support breaks it becomes a resistance right that's technical analysis 101 and PCR is 0 0.6 bearish FIA data is where things become really interesting I have not seen this since we started this analysis I don't think I have seen this after we started sensible either FIA only has puts long, they have call short. In every other occasion, they had some calls long also. But now FIA has negative OI of calls and positive OI of puts. <coughs> I can't even make a ratio here because this is negative. This is crazy bearish. Uh, I mean, this is crazy bearish in the sense that I've never seen this in the last four years or so. Uh, and <coughs> ever since we launched this chart. And FIA index options data. They sold 60k calls and they bought 9,000 puts, right? And uh, they got out of uh, call long, bought uh, uh, shorted calls, they added puts and they got out of some uh, short puts. So it's it's completely bearish, right? Everything about this is bearish. Stocks they sold 3,000 crores nearly bearish. Index futures, I don't know what this single data point is doing here. But this one alone is a little bullish, right? So <clears throat> overall, I'll say mildly bullish. So overall, every data point today we have is screaming negative, except that <clears throat> there might be some support on the graph around 15900 zone. But if that breaks, then we are headed for a much bigger downturn because the support, the the Support which is say 15850900 will now become resistance again. So we'll see some pain in the market, right? So my verdict here is don't jump. So here's the thing, right? Don't jump into shorting tomorrow because all said and done, there is a support somewhere around 15800, 15, uh, 15850 to 15900 zone, right? If it opens below here, don't jump into trades. Wait for it. Maybe you can get an entry at 15900 or something. Look at the daily price action, uh, look at intraday hourly candles or something and short when you have a nice uptick which shows a reversal candle or a shorting candle at some kind of intraday time frame, right? So if tomorrow it opens gap down and if you go short straight away, there are two risks. One is that of course it might bounce a little bit because any gap down can have some kind of a uh, uh, bounce. The bigger risk is that if you short tomorrow you are shorting into a support right so i mean i understand that there is some data about us inflation nine percent and all but here um how do i put it like see that is one side right but everybody who is running the show like what are the odds that goldman city uh i mean 100 other banks and hedge funds don't know that this is what us inflation data is going to look like right i mean if we think that US is like a perfectly sacrosanct country where data doesn't leak till you can all we are smoking high quality pot. I'm pretty sure people in the US who are the ones who really, really matter probably know what is going to happen in the inflation data anyway. So maybe they were selling for this dip, who knows, right? For all you know, it could even be that market will sell off and bounce back. Shorting into this resistance is a bad idea, into the support is a bad idea. If you have shorted calls as per our, you know, yesterday or day before or any analysis, you can hold on to them there's no harm at all you know because uh, tomorrow it will expire anyway so that's great if you have long term calls also it's okay but please don't make your short entry tomorrow if you had short entry today even at market close that's also fine but this is a wait and watch zone because there was a lot of action here right we can see so many uh, times index doing all this right um, so that is one thing uh, also, we had one user generated chart. So let me just quickly open that. 
very nice chart from and but like the counter argument this of this is coming from uh one second kayur had sent me a chart let me just open that chart <coughs> hopefully this is the right mail nope this is not the right mail so one second I'll, I'll just open that chart. it's a beautiful chart so it's worth watching and <coughs> sorry <coughs> So this is KU's chart. <clears throat> you can also replicate this chart. Looks like a very interesting chart. Looks like he has got a <clears throat> very nice channel system running here. So as per that, he is seeing significantly bigger downsides. Uh, I mean, you can replicate this chart. I think it's a chart worth discussing on today's thing. So, so overall, right, it looks <clears throat> there is downside, but is tomorrow the time to short? I don't know. Maybe on an uptick you can sell when you get a nice entry with intraday uh, candles, right? It's definitely not a long market, but it's a sell on uptick market. It is a sell market, but you can't sell into a gap down, right? So wait a little bit, see if it is going up or down. If it's going down, you can short. But if it's going up, don't short into it. Wait for that bounce to get over before shorting, right? <coughs> Sorry. So now let's look at uh bank nifty bank nifty is uh, come down below uh so bank nifty is we have talked about this this is a bearish and uh, bearish harami there's a confirmation to bearish harami uh this 200 day 100 day moving average indeed proved to be a resistance so now maybe we can see a retracement up to 34 200 maybe uh very little downs upside a lot of downside so at this point bank nifty was not looking like a, a good long even now it's not a good long you're better off shorting this than longing this, right? USD and Ortho, <coughs> known story. Uh, if you, I mean, other, you should have been long earlier. Now entering is tricky. You can enter in uh, some daily time frame. So overall, right? <coughs> market has a huge downside risk. It can correct to 15,000 even if it breaks 15,850 zone. <coughs> uh, bullish only above 16,200. So my trades are, I'm very happy to <coughs> uh, sell on optics. I'm happy to sell long term calls. I'm happy to sell. I'm happy to even do bear put spread if I get a decent entry, right? I'll just add one more detail here. Bank Nifty confirmed bearish Harami bearish. So overall, this does not look like a <coughs> good market. Uh, uh, it does not look like a good market at all. It is high on down, downside risk. So, so not a time to build portfolio, not a time to do longs. Good time to uh, sell, uh, sell, I'll uh, sell calls. Shyan is saying that US market recovered. Yeah, wo dekna bekar hai na. Matlab, like, what's the point? Like, what are we trying to prove? Eh, okay, it required quite a bit, right? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, what's the point? Why why are we looking at US? Maybe towards the second half, US will sell off. Maybe it will close positive. Maybe it will <coughs> uh, sell negative. Who knows? So let's also look at one last thing before we go. Multi-strike OI. Thank you, Usha, for reminding this. <coughs> oh, by the way, the new intraday OI chart is free, so you can try. Oh, this is interesting. So puts fell off a cliff towards EOD. There were around 10 million puts, 60% reduction in puts to 4 million puts. Yahape, there is 11 million puts reduction to 8.7 million puts. So see, looking at this graph, it is a massively bearish market. So we are saying all of that. All I'm saying is that ki US ka inflation data they kya mat trade karo. The trade things to you have to trade on are, <coughs> there is a bearish harami, which is going into a support here. This can act as a support, but if it breaks, we can see a Nifty struggling to 
uh, emerge out of it so so this zone is the zone to watch in fact i would even say that this is a this i mean this zone is a tr tricky zone to navigate simply because there was a lot of consolidation in this area right you can see this area so yahaka consolidation can make give some kind of support to nifty so i'll be very very careful shorting into this zone right because there's been a lot of action here so yes there was a dip like we thought it will happen yes it is not a long market till we have uh, nifty holding here yes this is more short than long but shorting into a resistance with puts sorry into a support with puts or futures is kind of risky i would probably want to play it with calls because if there's a lot of consolidation here it is easier to manage but then that's just me because i have a trading style which uh, allows me to not look at market all the time so i, it's, it's, I mean sell a call sit on it it's easier and keep a stop and you know it will take care of itself but yeah market looks a little tricky the, the zone to watch out is whatever we have highlighted here there was a lot of consolidation here right and we could see that nifty had taken multiple rounds of support in this zone even this point where it tried to break out closed out finally broke out gapped up all of that is here so <clears throat> this is not an easy sell zone unless we have some definitive price action breaking into this and then it goes up consolidates a little bit and then we can short uh, so net net uh, tricky market sell on upticks uh, selling long term calls is easier uh, bear put spreads if you get a good entry but you know a little tricky because it you pay the premium here so if the support acts and bounces back you might lose premium right so so yeah this is the verdict but it's a wait and watch for me tomorrow because uh, i don't think it is going to be that easy to break this support because we have seen a lot of action here right <clears throat> or like kur says this uh, channel might just work out in favor of bears so let me also replicate that channel was a channel yeah so what he has done is he has connected these points and this points so yes kur's channel is a very real channel <clears throat> you can also see this so like he says maybe yes we will see a downside but we have to be careful here right like basically it's it's not i'm not saying that you know yaha se aake reverse hoke upar jaake you know market bhag jayega that's not going to happen easily because this is a pretty strong down move we are witnessing and whatever we saw here is probably a, a short covering rally or a bull rally inside a bear market because overall right nothing has changed the long term is still bearish it is lower lows and lower highs and this could have been a bullish movement in a bearish market which is always very ferocious and fast maybe this is going to come down from here but all i'm saying is if you are going to take that trade be careful of this zone right that's all so net net our verdict is still the same uh, we are looking at a market which does not give you much upside in the long run it is probably a shorting market and then personally i am also doing the same so this is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow as usual this is not advice tips recommendation any of that stuff uh, thank you so much for joining guys uh, as usual please take care and keep your capital safe bye